Welcome to another episode of the Kin Seed series, and yes, our father is not feeling good. So we need to go to the apothecary. Uh, that's about our smithing thing, which we did. Still no revitalizing tonic for this mysterious illness of mine. I really must have stepped in it with Druda for her to turn her back on me like this. Anything else? It was like death outside today. Assuming death has a stonking cough and queasy feeling all over. Could really do with a natural elixir to chase away the foul humors. Okay. Let's grab something to put in here. Finish our chores and then we'll go straight to the apothecary. Don't want to ruin this sort of quest again. <laughs> Didn't look like sibling had anything to stay, which is good. Tomatoes! Alright. Oh, we could probably get some rainfish. I don't know if we've caught any yet. That's a pond lurker. Rainfish! Probably should go the other way to see if the uh, traveling trader is down there, but oh well. That's something I haven't done, I don't think, like ever on the series. Uh, this new one. Check the calendar. <laughs> collect honey. Cure his illness and find the cat. All right, well, we could collect honey real quick. Hey! A bucket full of honey. Uh, traveling trader is in the veil. Somewhere. So he could be down below. I'll just do it. I'll just go down that way. Hey! He's here! Uh, there we go. Tried talking with him, more neutral. Glass lens, I don't know if we need that. Uh, spicy clucking soup. Perfect. Should probably buy all of the flour. Seeds. Yeah, we don't need that. Alright, off to town. Hello! Ooh, there's an egg over there. I'm skipping line. The greens, eh? We could mix up just the thing, but we've run out of kukudu. It is a plant that mainly grows in kukudu wood, north of the village. Here's a proverb on where to find them. Uh, kukudu wood do location one. Thanks. Excellent work. We will mix it up just... We'll mix up just the thing because you did most of the footwork. This one's on the house. Not literally. Don't want you climbing on the roof. Much healthier. All right. Uh, I guess while we're here. Friendly. That's not like though. So let's grab gossip. Isaiah's birthday. And let's give him a gift real quick. Boots. Friendly. Gift. Ah! Blueberries. And... Ah, we could have gotten a secret. You should try the Poppy Goods store for baked goods. Secret. John Bowes likes tomato. Thank you. Oh, I can take these now. Basil! And time? Yep. It's because we got to be friendly with boots. We'll just uh, help you with uh, your harvest. Yeah, bitch. Dang it! <laughs> I'm really good at that. Well, soon we'll have all of his dislikes. Why was the baker poor? Because he wasn't making any dough. <laughs> some of you may have noticed uh, some speed builds. I'm calling them speed plays because it's not really speed build, it's just I'm playing through it and then I speed it up to be about the length of whatever songs I have for it. Uh, for going medieval. And that's because we're potentially in the process of getting a house. We'll see how it works. <laughs> We've had a lot of uh, almosts, uh, but it's never actually worked. So I am cautious, but we're, we've gotten further in the process than any other house. So there's a good chance we'll get it. So there's that. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Bill. Oh no, how do I give you this gift? No, how are you? Not feeling well, yeah. I don't want to gift it to him. It did go well last time. I'm gonna wait till he's not milking to see if he's like, 
he'll talk to us and want it. Otherwise, I guess I'll gift it. From Boots. Blueberries. A two star blueberry. Four two star blueberries. All right. Could head off to Cuckoo Wood. We'd have to walk though. I guess I could use the goddess statue. I don't even know if I've been to Cuckoo Wood yet. Travel. No. It does not look like we've been there. You can get there from Northgate. So where is the path? It says we can. But I don't see. Unless, like, that leads over. I don't actually see a way over. Yeah, because it would say words if it did connect. So this is a lie. Alright. We have gotten to Cuckoo Wood. Here's John's house. Him. Nope, but he's got a book. So, this is about brownies. It says, a small hooded man with a large nose and wrinkly skin with eyes that are large and blue and fingers long and slender. I wonder if Mr. Pot is a brownie. Um, because it makes it sound like these offerings are to him. So then if we put maybe milk or something in there, maybe things would be better. Ooh, and Newt. Druda hides her juicy goods when snow comes after autumn's floods. Oh yeah, we're looking for the cat. <clears throat> Not just here for the map and the cuckoo doo. It says we're here. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you can see him now. Hi. Pass completed. Cat rescue. Let's head uh, over to Ginger. Hazel. Hazel. I think she's Hazel. I think Ginger is the mom. I can never remember. Are you home? Found your cat. Oh, thank you. You must be a true cat lover. Would you like to buy one of my cats? Just choose any except a little bubble puff on my head. Can't bear to be without him. Only br ten brass each. I can do ten brass, I think. Yes. Got a book. You see that cats can sense the dead and see spirits. Uh, he is the cleverest cat and will hiss when a ghost... When ghosts are present. It scared me the other day when he hissed at the milk delivery man. He must have a ghost behind him. As he hisses at that man every time he visits. Or maybe. <laughs> it's the milk man. They say cats have another skill, but sadly not my cat. What's the other skill? Because it just says, he's not chasing fish. He's either asleep or worrying the chickens. What's the other ability? Oh, John's up here. Blood feet can be found by strange face statues on the ground. The statues on the ground or the flowers on the ground? Because both make sense to be on the ground. <laughs> Hey you. Oh yes, tomatoes. I happen to have picked some today. Fresh. Gossip. Ash is 18. Really? She's a bit older than us. Let's get ourselves a kitty cat. I have a name in mind already. Oh man. Uh, go this one or these. I'll go with this one. Bye. And not Pearl, but this is Muta. You guys know where a cat named that is. You have good movie tastes. Um. Oh yeah, now you're gonna follow me. Kind of wish I could just teleport home. Which am I gonna get first? Do I want to fast travel, or do I want uh to teleport home? Fairy path or the picture? Oh, there's the light spirit. Light and lights. <laughs> oh, we gotta interact with that. That'll be good. We can uh, travel home. I often forget I can pick things with E. <laughs> I always get it when with clicking. When clouds are crying, they appear. Rainfish love their namesakes dear. Uh, this is the bug spot. I'm sure we'll be back for that eventually. If that quest still exists, could be changed. 
Well, we didn't finish getting the map, but I do want to try to get home. So, let's travel to... Jurda. Hey there. Alright. Let's just gift it, I guess. Thank you for this. Test completed. Cure. Uncle Bill's illness. Ah. Legend tells of a special sack that could catch monsters and make them your servant. It was woven with dragon mane hair and they say it was sold to a man with big teeth. But I wouldn't give for such a thing. Hmm. Do we have Mr. Pot here yet? Or is that something that'll, uh, will he join us later? I mean, I imagine he's around. We just can't see him. Good morning. Some brass to collect. Hello, sibling. Have you seen the big wooden mint? Yes. I see Uncle Bill like sad sometimes. I think he's remembering Aunt Rose. We should have gotten to know her, don't you? Yeah. Sleep well. I dreamt I was a cow. Speaking of which, could you do some milk delivery for me today? I'll add them to your task list. They say cows are cursed people, doomed to eternity eating grass and getting milk. Creepy, if you think of it that way. Anyway, let's get on. That, that is creepy. You know, Quill's a lot bigger than just the veil. You might get to see some of it yourself one day, with any luck. Me and your Aunt Rose always planned on traveling, but we couldn't afford to leave the farm that long. You ran into Lucy Arrows yet? Mm-hmm. Some folk think she's a bit funny, what with all this looking into the past and all. As if anything was different back then. But everyone needs their hobbies. Uh, I think things were very different back then. That fella north of the farm, Twig, his name is, Knows a thing or two about fishing. I'd teach you myself, but I'm afraid I've lost the knack. He seems an odd sort, but harmless enough. Huh. I kind of wondered if he's seen any ghosts lately. Nope, the cat hasn't hissed. Um, I was kind of wondered at what uh, Uncle thought of Twig up there. I wasn't sure if that's like an extension of our farm or not. Uh, it should be ready to harvest then. Yes. What, uh, day is it? The ninth. Still takes me a minute to see the day. <laughs> so we still have enough time to plant stuff. Are we in summer? Yeah, yeah, this isn't spring. This is too... yellowy? Maybe it's the morning, but I think... Spring is a deeper green. Ooh, we got wheat seeds. That must have been a uh, traveling trader. Very excited about that. I want to try to go find the uh, map stones in the woods. Oh, who did he want milk delivered to? Oh, that's a lot of uh, milk delivery. Feed cat. Feed pig. Okay. Ooh. Uh, pets are good, yes. Feed the pig done. Do you have some pond lurker? Yep, pet the cat. Also, go ahead and stay here. Um, we need more uh, containers, I feel like. If we're gonna do that delivery. Right, so let's grab some jars. Right. So we'll be able to deliver all that milk in one go. Hello! Another recipe! Find them all. Now let's get some wheat. Flour. Alright, we're back here. See if we can fill out the map. I think this one has like a secret little path to one of the stones. Is it this way? Or was that a different one in the last... It's all the same Let's Play, but like the last save, I, I found a secret area with a map stone. I can't remember if it was here or not. This one is another very punny one. Uh, put it in the mixer. Rip. That's, that looks like it's uh, in the wrong order. Two more! This one's got a lot. Or is that the first one I found? I feel like I found one before. 
I could be wrong. There's some cuckoo do. Oh, a three star cuckoo do. In summer down shallow little ponds, minnow gather in their throng. Ooh, can we reach that? I think so. Yeesh. Beyond the hedge where dryads roam, elderberries make their home. Elderberries? I haven't seen any of those before. If you are in a tiring rush, put some basil on your brush. This was the map with a little bit of dirt leading into this area. I still see it in the day because I think it was very much the middle of the night when I found it last time. Gift a rose to start a date. Take them prompt and don't be late. Time flies when you're having fun under every morning sun. Oh, it's really storming. Look at those trees go. I wouldn't want to be here in that kind of storm. I'd be afraid of being squashed by a tree. Though if you ever are in a major windstorm in a forest, it is amazing how far a tree could bend and still be fine. Ooh, rainbow mushroom. Ever wanted to touch the sky with candy arms while mice polish your dancing teeth? No, neither have I. Aha, I knew it was down here. It's like there was kind of like a triangle of um in the middle. Oh, well, that's as much as the middle as I. Yeah, there's one there, there, and there. I remembered that, and then I remembered the one down here. All right, so we filled up the map. I don't know what to do with this honey. I guess I could swap out uh, the jars equipment. <laughs> the storm sounds so nice. All right, let's stick that up there. I can grab the milk. Hopefully that'll remind me at the beginning of next episode, but I doubt it. But I could hope. Oh man, do I want to travel home? I guess there's a, a statue I could have used there, but... Oh! You guys were supposed to tell me if I'd missed a statue. I missed one in a very important area. The icy blasts of chilly air will never touch Druida's pear. Alright, let's travel home. Ish. Since we can't go directly. Alright, so I'm going to grab myself a nap to save. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We got to go around Cuckoo Wood. We cured Uncle. I didn't call him Father this time. <laughs> I don't think that will ever go away. <laughs> Quite the habit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.